Hello, this is Hannah with Hannah Crafted Gifts, and look what arrived today. I am particularly excited about this paper pumpkin. Oh, it's out of focus. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> so as you can see, once again, Stampin' Up! has given us a specialty box. This is, what is this month? November 2020's kit, the Jolly Gingerbread Kit. I just love this scroll work. Um, I'm pretty sure this is cinnamon cider, so let's get inside and take a look. I haven't even opened it myself yet, but here I am. Here's Chandler. Come and check it out. Um, I haven't even taken my coat off. I'm so excited to share this with you. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that um, real quick. This is the insert. Bake the most of your kit. Love it with coordinating card stock. What do you think, Chandler? So I'll look more at that later. But let's see. Our ink spot color is Blushing Bride. Okay, that is a bit surprising to me. I really thought it was going to be Cinnamon Cider. Um, but Blushing Bride, that's a beautiful color. So a lighter color. It'll be interesting to see um, what they have for stamps. So let's take a look. These are never all in the right orientation for one shot, so I'll flip it around a few times. But okay, I love where my thumb's at. You can see, let me flip that to the right orientation. A little gingerbread house. And then let's see some of the sentiments. So we've got wishing you a jolly Christmas there at the bottom. A sweet treat for you to and from, which is upside down right now. <laughs> More merry, is that what that one says? And happy holidays, enjoy with love. We got some beautiful scroll work. Um, so really cute, okay. So that's our stamp set. And let's open the tissue and see. And I always do part one, which is my initial unboxing. You can hear me over the paper. <laughs> and part two, which, oh, I don't need all that noise. <laughs> which is the unbagging, I guess, of this package. So I'll show more of that in part two. But look how cute those are. So this kit was meant to be for, um, it says here 15 cards and envelopes, but they're meant to be gift card card holders. Um, however, Stampin' Up! has said, and of course this is always true, you can create alternates to make them, these would be great gift tags. I can see that really quick and easy. Um, oh, and I just saw you can see my reflection really well. Sorry about that. Um, and also cards, so these could be card fronts. And I'm really excited to play around with some of those alternatives myself and see what you all do. So let's see what we can peek at here. Oh my gosh, how cute are those? Little gingerbread house pieces. We've got our adhesives on top. Those look like the envelopes, cute envelopes. I always loved this kind of thing. Reminds me of like old post cards and just old international mail, okay? So you can see some candy dots and like candy cane trim around a a doorway here is what I think this piece is. So good stuff. I'm going to get this opened up and laid out and we'll check that out in my part two. But thanks so much for watching and as always, happy crafting.